Joe Rico remembers when WBUS decided to go all jazz. As general manager, he convinced the owners that this music was needed in South Florida. Joe says even though the format didn't work financially, the impact WBUS left was invaluable. Without the station, he says, audiences wouldn't now be supporting the handful of Miami jazz clubs, such as his own, Rico's room, in the airliner motel. The clubs bring in both local talent and nationally known jazz bands. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we welcome you to Rico's room and introduce just about the most outrageous big band in the world, Maynard Ferguson. <laughs> rooms aren't the only places you hear this music. Audiences have filled the Unitarian Church in South Dade for the past two years. This is where Ira Sullivan and University of Miami jazz students jam twice a week. says he doesn't care if the audience isn't watching. At the church, he encourages people to do what they want. Lay back on beanbag chairs or get up and dance. Jazz, he says, is a personal experience for the audience and a practical experience for the musician. Trying to give the young musicians a place to play where they can realize their highest potential and not have to uh, pander, shall we say, to the marketplace or where they have to just always play exciting music. You know, right now, tonight it's been quite exciting here, but a lot of times we get uh, very cerebral and very creative and go whatever way we want, make up our own melodies, make up our own tunes, and this is what these people are studying. They're studying a highly sophisticated form of music at the university, and uh, usually when they go out to earn their first, first money playing jobs, it's either playing disco or rock or some kind of entertaining music and it's a, a far cry, the level is far lower than what they've really been studying for. The record industry has also felt the growing popularity of jazz. Bayard Spector says five years ago, Speck's Music Store had only one bin of jazz albums. Today, there's a complete row. He attributes the burst of sales to WBUS. Where that format has stopped on WBUS. Each individual station pretty much has gone and taken what they think would best accommodate their format and has gone and taken some of the jazz uh, music now. And it's really just boomed. I mean, we're just selling more jazz than we ever dreamed of selling. <laughs> 